The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is urging the public to remain vigilant and take necessary preventative measures as the island experiences a rise in dengue fever cases. This period is notorious for an increase in mosquito-borne diseases, particularly dengue fever, which is caused by the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Dengue fever is a seasonal disease that often peaks during times of heavy rainfall, creating ideal breeding conditions for mosquitoes. The ministry has reported that from January 1, 2024 to date, there have been 40 confirmed cases of dengue fever on the island. The ministry is emphasizing the importance of public awareness and proactive measures to prevent the spread of this illness. Medical Surveillance Officer in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Dr. Dana de Costa Gomez, presented more data on the recent increase in dengue cases. It is important to note that 50% of these cases were recorded in the month of August, which is a 200% increase in documented cases from the previous month. This increase in cases aligns with the seasonal rainfall patterns observed during the rainy season where conditions are favorable for mosquito breeding. Although the dengue fever cases have been reported throughout the island, the communities in the south and southeast of the island have recorded more cases. Most infections have been observed in persons 25 years and younger, with toddlers between the ages of 1 to 4 years accounting for 25% of these cases. Glenda Sipal Etienne, the Environmental Health Officer in the Vector Control Unit, explains that in light of growing concerns about a potential dengue fever outbreak, the Environmental Health Division has ramped up its mosquito control efforts. The division has implemented a comprehensive plan that includes house-to-house -house inspections, targeting water sources, community education, and fogging operations. Following the school interventions, community-wide fogging will commence focusing on areas identified as having high mosquito indices. This effort aims to reduce mosquito populations and curb the spread of dengue fever within our neighborhoods. Five, clean up initiatives with targeted communities, engaging in the removal of items with the potential to hold water and harbor mosquitoes and rats. While these public health measures are crucial, the fight against mosquitoes and dengue fever requires collective effort. We urge the community to take personal responsibility in controlling mosquito breeding sites around their immediate environments. Symptoms of dengue fever include high fever, severe headaches, pain behind the eyes, joint and muscle pain, rash and mild bleeding. In severe cases, the disease can lead to dengue hemorrhagic fever, which requires urgent medical attention. The public is encouraged to report any suspected cases of dengue fever to the nearest health facility and to seek medical attention if symptoms develop. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Onika McCoy.